Adam's Adam Hills. Welcome to Sticks and Specs, the music quiz show that doesn't twist by your pool, so please don't moonwalk in our toilet. Our two team captains each and every week are the sub-woofing Alan Bro and the tweeting Miff Warhurst. <laughs> First guest tonight is a country rock showman who is known for his dark baritone voice and love of storytelling. He's halfway between Nick Cave and Rolf Harris from Wagons. Please welcome the show, Henry Wagons. <laughs> Alan's second team member tonight is a comedian whose dark comedy style was described by one journalist as, quote, like a cat with a dead bird. She's only allowed out at night with a bell around her neck. Welcome back, Celia Bacola. <laughs> Miss first guest tonight is the ultimate Aussie rock chick. As the lead singer of the Divinals, she hung around with all the boys in town, thought that love was science fiction, and when she thought about you, she touched herself. Please welcome Aria Hall of Famer, Chrissy Amphlett. <laughs> Uh, Myth's final guest tonight is a comedian and mother of two who was sick of cleaning up after all the boys in town, doesn't understand why they like science fiction and wishes they would stop touching themselves. <laughs> Please welcome back Denise Scott. Chrissy, you've just been on tour around Australia, is that right? Yeah, four, well, four cities. Yep. I got to sing some of the songs that I'd written or sung with a 30-piece orchestra, and um, it was amazing. Did you have a 30-piece orchestra whilst singing I Touch Myself? Mm-hmm. <gasps> it was amazing. Shimmels? And I did... Was it <laughs> <laughs> Elsie, we did Elsie for like from really early, and that was amazing. And if it's not too daggy, Elsie, how does that go? I never had an education. Right on, sister. <laughs> <laughs> she uses life as her vocation, standing on ledges, clinging to the edges. The world's a hard place to land on. I've started it too low. Life <laughs> can be lonely. Life can be very sad. Life can be something you. But with the orchestra and I got, and they did, they did these things <laughs> like these chords. <laughs> Nick and Alan will pick a topic, everybody will be quizzed on it. Your choices tonight are kings, queens, princesses and prince. Alan, you can pick the first topic tonight. Oh, let's have kings, eh? Ready, Miff? Queens. Sweet. We'll start with kings. Everyone on your buzzers. Let's play Spicks and Specs. Your first question for one point. Who was Australian king of pop three years running from 19... Yes? John Farnham. Uh, no. I'll ask the rest of the question to this side. Who was Australian King of Pop three years running from 1975 to 1977? John Paul Young? No! Russell Morris? No, it wasn't Russell Morris. Oh, Holden! No, it was oh. Daryl Braithwaite. Oh. Oh. If, we, if we kept on going for yes. another 15 oh. minutes... Oh. <laughs> Next question. In 1969, Elvis Presley had two number one hits in Australia. For two points, use the hangman clues on screen to identify them. Yes, myth side. Suspicious Minds. Suspicious minds. Yes, Suspicious um, Minds as well. Yes, two points out of two. Oh, nice. <laughs> Finally, have a listen to the following grabs. Tell me the musical realms of which these artists are the kings. Yes. That like swing? Benny Goodman. The first one? The first one was indeed the King of Swing. Well oh, spotted Celia Pacola. Okay. The second one was BB King. It was blues, wasn't it? It was King of the Blues, BB King. And the last one? Uh, uh, Pavarotti. No. Uh, it was Pavarotti. Can I just say, right, I should have seen this beginning. I don't understand this question. <laughs> Hang on, let, yeah. me, let, me, let, me, let me go back over this. Okay. Yeah. Tell me the musical realms of which these artists are the kings. What? <laughs> Benny Goodman was the King of Swing. All right. B.B. King was known as the King of the Blues. Yeah. Uh, Luciano Pavarotti was known as the King of anyone? What? King uh, of the Spaghetti Eaters. <laughs> <laughs> the answer I was looking for... Oh, Lu sweat. Luciano Pavarotti was known as the King of the High Seas. What? Oh, that oh. No, that's Blackbeard. <laughs> <laughs> this is a ridiculous program. <laughs> We don't understand the question, and then it's about pirates! But Alan, and this is only the first round! Alan, it's ludicrous! Ellen, you've got the points, so just shut Shh. up! What? I love this game! Answer. I love pirates!
pirates and how they're related to music. Are you in charge? <laughs> King of the high seas because he sang high seas. Oh! Now, Henry, apparently there's a bit of a Henry Wagons merchandise on the market. Uh... Yes. Can you explain? Well, look, these people from a website approached me and said, Henry, we'd love to make a doll out of you. <laughs> and I said, this is great. I'd love to have a doll. And then the article appears, you've got the pattern, and then it says, make your own Henry voodoo doll. <laughs> I've only seen the pattern, but it's sort of this... It's a small thing where you can pinprick every... Oh, do you mean oh, this? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's... Can we just wow. see the resemblance? Mm -hmm. There's, I've got one for each side. Wow. Oh, that's kind of lovely. Do you mind if I keep it? <laughs> well, I tell you what, here's what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to collect all the dolls here. Whichever team wins tonight takes home Yay. the Henry Yay. Wagons doll. Oh, no. Let's move on to Queens. Oh. Your first question for one point. Which singer was named Australia's Queen of Pop in three consecutive years from 1976? Yes. Alison Durbin. No. 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 Oh, 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 but I didn't mean that. This oh. team, have a go. <laughs> Marcia Hines. Yes, it was Marcia Hines. Well done. For oh. so two points, what two areas of music did these ladies reign as Queen of? Uh. Alan Side. Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but when they're not being pirates, yeah. Aretha Franklin. Queen of Soul. Yep. Donna Summer, Queen of Disco. Yes, two points out of two. <laughs> three points on the line for your final question. The following three songs have the word Queen in their title. Have a listen, wait to the end, name all three. Queen, um, Witch Queen of New Orleans and Queen of Hearts. Oh, oh bitch! Oh, yeah. Now, Henry Wagons, you have possibly received one of the most backhanded compliments I've ever heard. You've been described as an unlikely sex symbol. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. There's also a lovely description that you made of the idea of meeting Chrissy Amphlett before this show. You always found her to be very attractive and quite intimidating. Scared shitless. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you aware that people found you sexy and intimidating at the same time? I tried not to read my press. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you read all your press. Oh, I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> but here's something interesting I read about you that I wasn't aware of, that you, as a performer, when you started out with Divinals, were actually quite shy mm -hmm. and invented the, the, the kind of character in the schoolgirl uniform as a way of overcoming... I just felt really vulnerable. I mean, imagine singing I'm Through with hanging around all the... I was a slut. Singing slut songs. <laughs> and bearing my soul. And thank God you did. Yeah. <laughs> so was there a time when you were singing something like Boys in Town where you were standing up at the back, head down, quite shy? So what was the turning point that took you from the back of the stage, head down, to suddenly you're up front in a tunic... Well... ..with a, a fluorescent tunic, light pole? The tunic, the stockings... Yeah. Everybody was like, how could you... And then, you know, I was the ultimate sight in the road crew and everybody, you know, because they test you when you're a girl in that world. Oh, totally, yeah. I'm fascinated because I spent my adolescence wearing a school uniform and stockings. Nothing. <laughs> 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 At the end of the first round, the scores are dead set even. Alan, Henry, Celia are on five points. Miff, Chrissy, Denise, also five points. <laughs> Teams have to buzz in and identify the tunes being performed live in the studio. Tonight, your songs are being played by the US master of the musical stick, Bob Culbertson. Yay! <laughs> uh, welcome, Bob. A song number one, please. Side, yeah. yes. Blue Moon! Blue Moon, yes, it is Blue Moon by Roger Lamar. <laughs> can, I, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've, uh, being can a boy, I've played stick? with a lot of sticks in my yeah. life. And that's the coolest stick I've ever, <laughs> ever, ever seen. Wrong. I am expecting some big know where it's from and what it is. It was invented by Emmett Chapman in 1974. All right. Yeah. And he was a guitar player and he figured out you it's can tap on the string. It's, it's a bass on this side. Oh, it's a bass. And a guitar. It's amazing. Twelve. Okay. Twelve string. So you play Such each hand. It sounds like it's almost a disciplinary thing, like in someone's house, like, you kids don't make me get the musical stick. <laughs> you know? That's right. <laughs> Everyone on your buses again. Second song, please. <laughs> Fleetwood Mac, Rhiannon. Yes, it is. Fleetwood Mac, Rhiannon. <laughs> Next song, please, Bob. <laughs> It's not feeling groovy. It's not. HR Puff and Stuff? Yes, it is. Oh, it's oh, the theme from HR Puff and Stuff, the TV oh, show. Uh, all right, final song, please. Bell's Cannon is exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Bob Colbert. Yeah. He is the yeah. At the end of that round, the scores are Alan, Henry, Celia, seven points. Miff, Chrissy, Denise, also seven points. Yeah. Both teams are about to be shown part of a film clip. You will then have to answer questions about that clip. Your clip tonight is from the song What's My Age Again by 90s wannabe punks Blink 182. Both teams, watch carefully, there will be a test afterwards. And that's about the time she walked away from me. Nobody likes you when you're 23. And you still act like you're in freshman year. What the hell is wrong with me? My friends say I should have my age. That's about the time that she broke up with me. No one should take themselves so seriously. With many years of head to fall. Here are your questions. When the band streaks onto the TV sets, name one TV show they interrupt. Yes? The Last Word. Let's have a look. Uh, it was KTLA 5 or The Last Word. Excellent. Yeah, well done. spotted, well Denise Scott. Next question, what colour are the dog's collars? Red and blue. Let's have a look. Denise, you are on fire. Denise Scott is on fire. <laughs> How many witches hats are on the footpath? Yes. I think there three? Are... Well, there's three flashing lights, but there oh. might have been more cones. I think there um, might be four. Oh. Let's say four. OK, four. let's have a look. Damn it! Oh. Oh. Six. Six. So Six witches hats on the footpath. What is oh, floating behind the TV presenter? Yep. Mm. Spoons. Yeah. Let's look. Oh. Denise Scott is on fire indeed. <laughs> At the end of the clip, what does the band member in the middle have tattooed on his back? Yes. Oh, I, oh, I just saw a tattoo. Don't know, I couldn't see. No, does anyone on this side know? It's like a stripe. All right, let's have a look. It was Hope. Hope oh. was tattooed on his back. Oh, yeah. Finally. Hope. Does anyone else find that weird right above your bum? I don't know what else you'd have, though. No I, entry. I, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Obvious. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> Your final question. In the final scene, what is the band member with hope on his back carrying in his hands? Yes. Well, clearly he's business. Let's have a look. Surely oh, not. Okay. 
Yes, he is. He is actually supporting himself there. Oh, I'm sorry, David. you cannot tell. Well, Miff could. I saw it. That's the only thing she got right in the whole clip. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of that round, the scores are Alan, Henry, Celia are on seven points. Miff, Prissy, Denise have hit the lead, yeah. 11 points. <laughs> One member of each team will be singing well known songs using the words of an unrelated piece of text. Your teammates have to identify those songs. Henry, you'll be singing first for Alan and Celia. And you'll be taking your lyrics from the 1955 children's book The Bobsy Twins at School by Laura Lee Pope. <laughs> that is your book. Uh, those are your songs. Ladies and gentlemen, Henry Wagon. Yay! Song one, please, Henry. Can I have that? Yes, totally, yeah. Is that like, like the undies or something? Yeah, kind of. Do it's you a... wear your headband as undies? What would say? <laughs> that wouldn't be very effective. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Okay. <laughs> After Danny had gone, the Bobsies rejoined their friends. All went on towards the grove in the woods, where the picnic was held. There was laughing and shouting and much fun. On the way we share. Uh, yes. I want to know what love is. Yes, it is. Song two. On Monday, everybody went back to school. Stuff going on in my head. Towards the end of the day, Nan looked up from her book and gazed out the window. Oh, look, she whispered suddenly to Grace Levine oh, 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 oh. and several other children. Quick. Come on, Alan. Come on. Around her heard Steve. it. Oh, I know what it is. To and soon the whole class was looking outside. Ooh. What a buzz. Uh, yes. Simply the best? Yes, it is. Simply the best. Oh, oh, oh. Final song, please, Henry. Surprise sandwiches neatly wrapped in wax paper. What's in them, do you suppose? Asked Freddie, oh, look. Flossie giggled. Lots of other children are eating their lunches too. She and Freddie were not the only ones who were hungry after the hike. Into the woods, oh. snap and lay down on the ground oh, beside oh. the twins and watch them. Torn! Yes! yes. Torn, brilliant, brilliant. Well done. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, Henry Wagons. Yay! Chrissy, yeah. yeah. you'll be singing for Miff and Denise. Yes. And you'll be taking your lyrics from the Corona 2000 Service and Repair Manual for July 1976 to October 1979. Did you get that out of my car? <laughs> <laughs> Those are your songs, ladies and gentlemen. Chrissy Amflat. Look at us. The Bobsy Twins. <laughs> oh. OK, song one, please, Chrissy. The steering gear is the world and recycling all time sector shop <laughs> operates in rows <laughs> of needles. Uh, oh. Hang on, hang on, I've stopped it too hard. Yeah, I want to find out more about the corona. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard it so sexy. <laughs> all over Australia going, I've been waiting for this for years. <laughs> um, next song, please, Chrissy. It's hard. Hmm. 
You're telling me. Huh. <laughs> Chuck the front wheels, raise the area of the vehicle, and support on chassis stands. Check the wheel nuts for tightness and spin the, the wheels to check for run out. Oh, okay, Sarah. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Sarah. Yes, it is. Uh, John Stay, author of the famous song. Okay, final song. Lubricate and assemble the rocket shot components to their original position on the shot. Excuse us. They assembly together. Could you be quiet for me? Easy, easy, I'll be gone. Yeah, I'll be gone. Well Now, Chrissy, you grew up surrounded by people who worked in a funeral home. No, my, on my mum's side, um, there was a, a family business which was um, the hearth, making hearses. And then they married into another family. She also had a funeral parlour and a, she would embalm, but th those two. Right. And uh, Uncle Ern, who was. You know, in a chain of... What? <laughs> he what? In, he works in undertaking. He's called Uncle Ern. <laughs> well, that's what you do. That's I, you I, I feel some hilarious misunderstandings. <laughs> they check the hearses. You know, they, for squeaks, because hearses can't squeak. And one day, one of the mechanics was lying in the back, listening for squeaks. And he had a big semi-trailer behind him. And, and he was listening for squeaks, and he sat up, and the same trailer was moving. Brilliant. <laughs> right? At the end of that round, the scores are Alan, Henry, Celia are on 10 points, Miff, Chrissy, Denise still in front, 14 points. <laughs> teams, hands on your buzzers. One point for a correct answer, one point off for a wrong answer. Your questions start now. Which sharpshooting singing hillbilly has been played by both Betty Hutton and Bernadette uh... Peters? Annie Oakley. Yes, Annie Oakley from Annie Get Your Gun. Nice. According to Eddie Cochran, there ain't no cure. <laughs> yes? Summertime blues. For what kind of blues? For summertime blues. In the 80s, the Beastie Boys urged us to... <laughs> yes. Finally right to party! Yes, indeed, Sue McCoy. Finally right to party! I'm Beastie Boys Tourette, sorry. Finally right to party! Which American songbook composer had a key-changing crank handle on his piano because <gasps> he could only play an F sharp? Yes. Jerry Lee Lewis? Uh, no, Irving Berlin mm. was the person I was looking for. Have a listen to this. Name the song. Don't tell me not to live, just sit. Uh, Don't rain on my parade. Barbara Streisand. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. I'm fine. Yeah. You're the only person in the history of this show to answer a Beastie Boys question <laughs> and a Streisand <laughs> question. And Natalie Imbruglia. I buy a lot of compilations, OK? <laughs> <laughs> Sure, covered her own song, I Got You, Babe, with which 90s, yes? UB40. MTV animated oh. duo Beavis and Butthead. Oh, that's not UB40 at all. <laughs> not even close. Which stringed instrument has knee levers on the underside? Yes. A uh, lap steel? Uh, pedal steel. Pedal steel guitar was what I was looking for. Which lady of leather rock started out in the band The Pleasure Seekers? Yes. Oh, Joan Jett. Uh, no, Susie Quattro. Oh, that's what I was looking for here. Here is your final question. In the movie The Blues Brothers, at Bob's Country Bunker, there are two kinds of music. Uh, yes? Country and Western. Yes, <laughs> Alan Rowe. Well, <laughs> so, at the end of the show, the final scores are Alan, Henry, Celia ended up with 13 points. Miff, Chrissy, Denise just won by a point. 14 <laughs> points. <laughs> You have won the Henry Wagons Dolls. Oh. <laughs> Would you please thank all our guests for tonight? Henry Wagons, Celia Pacola, Chrissy Amphlett and Denise Scott. <laughs> and of course our two team captains, Alan Rowe and Miff Warhurst. To close the show tonight, master stick tickler Bob Culbertson oh. is going to play us out with a rendition of the Divinals classic, 
boys in town. Thanks for watching Spicks and Specs. My name's Adam Hills. Good night, Australia.